welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a, a buy it soft tackle. Uh, works pretty well for a uh, sulfur emerger. Uh, hook I'm using is a Dodge 15 1550. Thread I'm using is Montana Flyco Cream. Cream and uh, Edo. Bring my thread back to just about before the point. Um, the, t the tail on it is bronze mallard flank. What I do is I take take the mallard flank, take off a decent clump, not too much, because pretty much what this is uh, imitating is just a shuck. So you don't want too much. Um, but take it off. What I do is I pinch it and I fold it. When I pinch it, then I peel it off. It causes them to clump together nicely. And I measure my tail. I want I want about uh, two thirds of the length of the shank. I'm gonna offer it to the top. I'm gonna pinch and loop. Back over, see how she's sitting. I like to push it up, go one turn underneath, one turn over. That's going to make cause it to stand up. Now we're going to run our thread up. I'm going to show you how to uh, get a good taper in a, with a bite body. Get my stuff back on there. Top of the hook shank here. Trying to roll on me. But bring your wrap up. Now that's your thorax area where your thorax is going to start. We're going to take one, two more turns into the thorax area. We're going to fold these back. I'm going to run my thread up. I'm going to stop about a hook eye away from the eye. That's where our head and hackle is going to go. I'm just going to come back over top of these guys and bring these back to the two thirds point. About halfway on the shank or so. I'm going to come in and trim on an angle. Nice and close. I'm going to run those guys over. Run back down to almost the tail. Come back up. Bring it right on up into your thorax area. Come on back. Nice touch and turns. Come on right back to where your tail is. Now you got a nice tapered underbody. You're ready for your bite. The body on it is a uh, uh, turkey bite. Uh, turkey bites are really nice to work with because uh, of the length of them. They're absolutely fantastic to work with. Just pick one off the color I'm using. Um, it's an olive color, uh, but when you wind it on, it's more of a yellow kind of color than an olive. Um, but with the buy it, there's convex and a non convex side. I'm going to tie the convex side up. All right, offer it to my side, let the thread wraps put it on top of the shank, because that's where you want it to be. And I'm going to bring it back down towards the point a little bit more. And just wrap up. Nice touch and turns. That way you don't mess up your tapered underbody. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a step form in there, but we'll get we'll get rid of that. What I like to do with the with these to make sure that the the bike doesn't come all come all undone is I like to put a little bit of uh, Sally Hansen's on the shank here just on the top not too much just put some on the top and then we're going to wind our by it Just 
wide. Nice touch and turns. Wind your bite up. Nice touch and turns. I like to use uh, hackle pliers really with bites. Wind it up. Take a turn. Over. I like to wrap back onto the bite. Fold it back. That's going to help us get rid of, start to get rid of that step. We're going to trim the bite out. Don't worry if you got a rough trim on it. Um, the dubbing is going to cover that up. Uh, the dubbing I like using for this pattern um, is my uh, UV high test dubbing. It's a it's a blend I make. It's pretty much like a hair's ear kind of UV kind of thing. Similar to. I'm sure you could use some sort of uh, hair's ear with some uh, synthetics in it mixed in with it and it would uh, work just fine. Wind this on. Go back over the by just a little bit. Don't worry if. Uh, I like I love I love this dubbing because uh it's a very rough dubbing. It makes nice buggy flies. I fold everybody back. Too many wild guys. Brush everybody back. Don't worry about if you got any crazy crazy ones uh flying around on you. Find my hackle I got prepared here. That's not the one. There it is. Now the hackle I like to use is uh you'd find it like on the back part of the partridge. Uh if you have a if you have a dark partridge skin it works great. Um, which I do have quite a few. Uh, but this is a hairline one that I've pretty much uh I've picked quite a few feathers off of it. Um but it's basically uh, one of these dark guys that you find in the the back area of the partridge, as opposed to the, it's more of a back feather than a, it's definitely not a con, uh, a shoulder feather or a wing feather. I'm going to catch it on my side, wrap down, take the tip, and fold it back for security. matter of snipping that tip out of there. Just watch you don't catch any of your hackle that you're about to wind on. And I take my hackle and what I'm doing is I'm folding it back and I'm stroking it up at the same time. Fold it back, stroke it up. I'm going to wind it on. I don't use, use hackle pliers for partridge. All that's going to do is cause it to break. So I'm just folding it and wrapping it at the same time. I think that one, one complete turn, I think will do it. Yeah, let's, let's go a little. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. I think that'll do. Look, catch your partridge in. Catch your partridge in. Sorry, I was looking at something there. A little, a little distracted. I like to fold it back, and snip it out of the way. Maybe that didn't roll on your right. You can maneuver. We're just gonna form ourselves a nice, neat head. Into the whip. Oh, my lip, my whip. 
my whip slipped on me when I went to give it its first turn. can give the head a little coat of head cement. Give it a good shine. That's my little uh, body merger. I don't know, I don't really have a name for it at all. Uh, it works, works well uh, for sulfurs. Uh, I'm sure it would work for uh, Cahills. And uh, work just in general, general purpose uh, pattern also. Um, but it produces well for me. And I uh, hope it does for you too. I'm John at Utah. Check me out my blog, www.utahsflycorner.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.